Microsoft has reported a huge increase in the use of its cloud-based services as of late. Uh, according to the Microsoft block, Microsoft Teams has seen a huge spike in users and usage of Windows Virtual Desktop has tripled. Uh, we're going to focus on Windows Virtual Desktop today and that should be interesting for the organizations that are thinking about deploying Windows Virtual Desktop or are already using it. And joining us is one of our senior technical consultants, Scott Seddon. Uh, so Scott, let's start straight away. Um, for the organizations that are thinking about deploying Windows Virtual Desktop or are already using it, what are some of the problems that can occur when we look specifically at printing? So these are the main difficulties that I see that come up in conversation at MS Ignite, etc. The first thing that comes to mind is how do I get my print data out of the Azure cloud to my printers securely? So with Easy, we can press and encrypt print data over SSL. It's one solution using one protocol only, and that's WebSockets. Another issue that springs to mind is user identity. So what and where um, identity are we using? So Easy was built on Azure for Microsoft Azure customers, reading Microsoft Azure's Active Directory. So this really does simplify the user identity piece. And then another thing that pops up quite often is driver management, um, printer types. Um, and we are completely vendor agnostic and support any printer type. Okay, so if we think about it this way, then we've got organizations that, are, that want their remote workers to be able to access Windows Virtual Desktop and to be able to print to their local printers. Um, bear in mind some of the things you just said. What are, how, how do you get your users to be able to print to their local printers? Well, it's really simple. Um, there's two main components, uh, software components in the Windows Virtual Desktop solution by Easy. They're both downloadable from our central Easy Cloud console. We have a Easy Print App um, agent and we also have an Easy Connector. The Easy Print App agent is deployed to the Windows Virtual Desktop instances and it connects the desktops to the Easy Cloud. Then we have the Easy Connector, as mentioned, um, which is deployed on the laptops or print servers. Um, the Easy Connector is configured to register the printers on your laptop or all local print servers to the Easy Cloud. And as mentioned before, all the print traffic is securely encrypted using WebSockets only. Okay, so we have the Easy Connector and we have the Easy Print App, which you mentioned. Um, what is what bridges these two components, which each user uh, downloads on their own laptop, what bridges these together into a manageable solution for organizations? That's again, really easy to answer, Joseph. We have one central admin console accessible for the administrators uh, from anywhere. It's really this one-stop shop where the admins build printer rules, mapping users to actual printers and sites. So now when the printing from Windows Virtual Desktop, the job's compressed, it's encrypted in transit by that print app that's running on Windows Virtual Desktop. The print job is sent up to the Easy Cloud and then it's sent direct to the Easy Connectors. Um, the Easy Connector then will decompress, decrypt and print the job out. Sounds great. Uh, how quickly and how easily can organizations get this up and running then? The users must register with their Azure admin credentials uh, through easy.com forward slash WVD. Once they've registered the, um, the users and the identity through that URL, um, the second step is really to read the current printers into the Easy Cloud. So that's the role of the Easy Connector that I mentioned before. And then the third and final step is um, assigning printers to users. This is an administration um, task, which is undertaken on the Easy Cloud console. So this is where we're gonna bridge the uh, user identity to the actual printers um, and build those printer mappings. Okay, thanks a lot for that, Scott. If you're also interested in learning more about Windows Virtual Desktop printing, uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got loads of videos there which uh, go into the topic in a little bit more depth. And also on our website, there are always webinars or white papers which you can download free of charge to help you get started with the topic. Thanks for watching.